Hello and welcome back to the channel. With summer gigs on the horizon, a question has been asked about how to use USB to connect the XR18 or MR18 to a PC for break music, intro music, or backing tracks. So that's what this video will explain. You first need to go to the Behringer or Midas download page and download the USB driver for the mixer. I will include those download links in the text below. Once downloaded, extract and install the driver. In the previous video, I mentioned the Ethernet and USB connections. Ethernet, whether hardwired or using the built-in Wi-Fi, or external Wi-Fi with an external router, is for mixer control only. No audio passes through this connection. USB is for audio. Even if you use the same laptop for mixer control and music playback, you will still need both of these connections on that computer. You can, of course, use a dedicated PC for playback and not need the Ethernet connection to that computer. In that case, only use the USB connection. Once you've installed the drivers and rebooted the computer for good measure, when you connect the USB cable to the computer and the XR18, Windows should detect it. When you right click the speaker icon in the system tray and then click open sound options, you should have an option to select out one two Behringer X Air. You can also double click the speaker icon, bring up this window and there should be a drop down where the Behringer X Air option is also available. Use either method. We now need to configure the X Air mixer. We'll open the X Air edit software and connect it with the mixer. Next, we'll open the routing tab, which is marked in out. We want to click on the USB returns tab. Most people are going to want to return the music from the PC into the aux return, which is channel 17 and 18. Behringer actually gives us a quick setup option for this. This button, USB one, two to aux, click that. Then tell it OK. For USB to channel 17 and 18 on the Behringer XR18, that made all the changes we needed automatically. Anything that your PC now plays will come up in the aux in channel, which is 17 and 18 of the XR18. On the other hand, you don't have to use channels 17 and 18 if you prefer another pair of channels for your stereo signal from the computer. You can set this manually. Let's walk through that. Let's reset the USB returns to off analog. I'll explain what the graph is showing us. The channels on the left side of the graph are our mixer channels. We know the computer is sending us the music down USB 1 and 2, so we can pick the channel we want that music to come to. In this case, let's say channels 15 and 16. We'll tell channel 15 to connect to USB 1, which is our left, and we'll tell channel 16 to connect to USB 2, which is our right. Since we're doing this manually, we have one further step. We need to go to those channels on the mixer. First, select channel 15 and then click the channel tab, like this. In the channel input section, select USB as our source. And now we do these same steps for channel 16. Select channel 16, select the channel tab. In the channel input section, select USB as the source. Channels 15 and 16 are now getting their signal from USB 1 and USB 2, and that is your computer's audio. You have a USB trim control on those channels to bring the signal up or down if you need to. You can also tweak the PC level on the PC itself. If you're working with a DAW like Reaper, then you might want to click on this link above for info on connecting to that. Leave me any questions or comments below. If you like info like this, then please like and subscribe to the channel, click the affiliate links or the Patreon link to support the channel, click the bell for notifications, check out the other videos, and I will see you next time.